go. Let go! Hey, Ocean family. Um, this is very much a how-to video. Uh, basically, I've taken our compass and tried to fix it. Uh, the compass has got oil in it now, and it's holding oil, uh, which is great. Uh, so it actually points in the right direction. Uh, you would have seen in that first clip there, door would slam and the compass would spin. And that's what got my attention to it in the first place. So I was like, what is going on here? And then someone mentioned that it's got no oil in it. I hope you guys enjoy zoomed in compass shots and a very bassy, monotone voice narrating it. Enjoy. <laughs> um, first thing, uh, I had to go out and find some mineral oil. So uh, where is it? Just there. It says mineral oil. And this one here has a fragrance to it, but the fragrance really shouldn't affect too much of the performance of the oil. To put it in, we're going to be using this syringe here, uh, and you'll see why in a moment. All right, so let's get to the disassembly, shall we? Um, this plastic cover here pops off. I went ahead and sort of unclip that already. So that's the ring coming off there. Now, compass is mounted in here. It's also got a little red globe there for illuminating it at night time. So we're just gonna pop that out and move it out of the way. All right, so that's the wires unattached and out of the way. And now securing the compass down in there, four screws. So we're gonna go ahead now and remove those. Now, if you're wondering what kind of compass this is, this is a Sunto uh, F95. All right, four screws out. Um, this section here should just pop out now. So there's our very wobbly, very point everywhere compass. You can see if we were sailing along, right? It's a bit choppy sea. This thing's trying to point in the direction that you have to go and it's just going everywhere. If you have a flip over on the back here, you can see, wait for it to zoom, right down the bottom just there, oil filled. So how do you get the oil in? Well, we're gonna get our compass, rotate it around, and right there, we've got a filling screw. So it's time to remove that guy. What you're gonna see in here now, this time, is an o-ring and this was the o-ring I ended up finding and using and it was leaking out of these holes here so I decided to get the soldering iron out and do a little bit of plastic welding now that uh, we've got the plastic all sort of welded up here I've gone and I have inserted one of these they're called blanks and they go into uh, dive gear you can see it's got the thread on it it's got the o-ring and I've just doubled the o-ring up I've put two on there and uh, to get the thread in the actual plastic itself I've um, heated it up the thread and just threaded it in and then put under water and it cooled down now I've got a thread in there that's actually holding oil now finally which i'm extremely grateful for it's time to finally fill this thing up let's do it a little makeshift funnel all right that's definitely full and see if we can get the air to move up to this part here all right, time to use the syringe. All 
Now that we've got most of the air out, it's time to put our makeshift bung in. Let's get rid of all this excess. I feel like there's a little pocket of air just sitting underneath there, just by how the oil is holding up. Okay. Let's get this done. So we're just going to remove the filling screw on top and then you can see the air bubble at the top here. We're going to move it over the hole that's now available and using the syringe we're going to push the oil in until it spills out the top. All right, so as you can see, just got this tiny bubble right at the top, right there. But for me, that's pretty good. And now, I mean, you can see that when I move it, it's really holding nice and steady. That the viscosity of the oil, just holding it true. And it'll point me in the right direction, nice and smoothly, nice and slowly. Very, very happy. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll check them out. But hopefully this was helpful in some way and you guys will be able to do it yourself. Uh, we've got a few more videos on here where we raise the water line and uh, we make boat chaps as well on our channel. So check that out. And please, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. That always helps. And there's plenty more videos coming with cruising season just around the corner. We're going to take this up to the southern end of the Great Barrier Reef and go check out some of the spots out there. Till next time, love to all.